<laughs> so you're finally back here in the win column. How does that feel for you? Uh, I, feel, I feel very, very uh, emotional. Uh, I'm happy that this win. Uh, all my game plan, all my game plan, uh, lose perfect in the fight, and and I'm very happy. <laughs> you had a huge highlight reel slam there in the fight. Uh, How did uh, that feel? Like really landing that? Did you feel in full control? Uh, yeah, I feel full control. I'm um, grab uh, my opponent and uh, slap uh, in the in the cage, and uh, I feel I feel really, really, really happy for this happen. And uh, I'm dominating every round, like my game plan. Uh, and my last fight, I wanna like finish the fight. And, and this fight, I wanna like uh, go over there and go really, really slow, win round for round, minute for minute, and and happens. And and I'm I'm very I'm very happy. So you're saying you don't think you fought as intelligently against Mizugaki? You just went out there to brawl, and this time you yeah. took a different approach. Yeah, I think I think I'm I'm born. Where I'm I'm uh, I learned a lot. The my last fight, uh, I don't wanna. I, I, and now I don't wanna go over there, and and I wanna. I, I'm trying to finish the fight, and now I wanna go and fight smart, uh, step for step. I think my last fight, I'm learning a lot, and uh, and now in this fight, uh, I'm fighting really, really smart, and I'm fight, I'm I'm fight when my game plan all, all, all the time. So, and thank thank God, everything good. With the UFC's desire to expand into Mexico more, certainly your name comes up a lot. How do you feel about the pressure knowing that you're a name they'd like to build and your fan base there would certainly like to see you do well? Uh, every time I feel a lot of pressure because I'm the only Mexican Mexican fighter. For this pressure, is uh, uh, this pressure is good for me because always I'm training really really hard in the gym. Always I wanna I wanna grow up more. Always I wanna I wanna uh, do something for 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 myself or the people see I'm I'm better every time in the fights. I noticed that you asked John Wayne Parr, who is a Muay Thai legend, to walk you to the stage yeah. for the weigh-ins. How did you uh, get to know him, and why did you want him to go with you? Uh, I, w when I was young, uh, when I was 14 years old, I'm starting training Muay Thai. So I see all the time uh, the movies, the John Wayne Parr. I see all, all the time in K1 fights. So in Mexico, John Wayne Parr, and I, I think in, in all, all the in all the planet, John Wayne Parr is a legend. And it's, it's a legend for me. So John Wayne Parr walk around with me to the way it's just like, you, I, I'm walking around with one legend, you know? And I'll be, I'll be, I, I wanna be a legend like John Wayne Parr when I will, when, and, uh, and more, and uh, when I'll go old. Miramos un gollito con mayor experiencia, mayor madurez en este combate. Sí, ahora no me desespere tanto. Eh, traté todo de llevarlo eh, a mi game plan, eh, todo lo que entrené. Eh, la última pelea aprendí mucho y aprendí a no desesperarme tanto. Aprendí a llevarme todo eh, tranquilo y, y gracias a Dios salí con la mano en alto. Que es algo que venía. ¿Te veremos en México peleando? UFC, bring me to Mexico. <laughs> sí, quiero ir a México. Ese es mi, mi mayor mi mayor sueño, pelear en la liga número uno de todo el mundo, en mi en mi país, con toda mi gente. Ese sería mi orgullo más grande, pelear allá. Lo siento, pero en inglés. Yeah, <laughs> you're saying yeah, that the yeah, UFC yeah, is the yeah, number UFC one. Yeah, UFC, me Mexico. It's like my dream, fighting my in my in my country is my dream fighting the number one uh, and number one uh, UFC in Mexico is like it's my dream I wanna fight in Mexico I wanna go over there and uh, fight with all my peoples yeah, thank you, you guys. Um, the, the infection that you had before your last fight uh, do you feel that you're fully healed from that in this uh, fight now and that that kind of maybe hindered you in the fight before uh, no, uh, the infection just a thing, uh, like the infection, uh, uh, I don't fight for like six months and I think this is affecting me because I want to like fight and fight and fight, I want to train for fight and the infection just bring me like 
like not training for two months and it's a lot of time for me. Right now I'm going to Mexico, uh, I'm go and rest for one week and come back to training again hard because in my next fight I want another gollito, I want to go over there and the people see I'm, I'm better, better fighter every time I'm fighting. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Hey, so, who's your favorite uh, luchador, or lucha libre? Who's your uh, favorite lucha libre? I have a lot, of, a lot of, uh, El Santo, you know, in Mexico. El Santo mm -hmm. is like make movies over there, Blue Demon and Octagon. Octagon what? is like, is like kind of like karate guy and uh, do a lot of stuff. When I was younger, Octagon is my my favorite fight and. and and now I'm fighting one octagon, so it's <laughs> crazy roll. You know? Anybody from Bellator or excuse me, anybody from TNA or WWE? Uh, Rey Mysterio, you know, Rey okay, Mysterio yeah. is uh, the, the first, the first wrestling the WWE, and when the mask. So I think Rey Mysterio okay, yeah. is is good. Good, good luchador guy. Thank you. Thank you. Chico, te hago uno en español. Hablabas recién de que te gustaría pelear en México, teniendo en cuenta que estás entrenando también con algunos mexicanos allá en la Academia de Jackson y con también el argentino Guido Canetti. Guido Canetti. Sí. ¿Cómo los la ves a ellos? Canetti. El ninja Canetti. ¿Los ves también preparados? Y ya se habló algo de que van a estar en el UFC de México. Hay rumores que puede ser en abril eh, también. Eh, la verdad no, no sé cuándo peleen, pero Argentina. Esperen. Y el Dodger bueno. y el Mowgli y varios sí. compatriotas tuyos. Varios comp esperen a Argentina, esperen algo muy bueno de Ninja Canetti, la máquina Canetti y de varios mexicanos que vienen fuertes. Eh, me atrevo a decir los mejores que yo. Eh, creo que van a hacer algo muy bueno en, en, en el UFC. Bueno, gracias, Goyito, y esperamos verte ahí en no. México en el DF. En bueno, abril, quizás. Gracias, esperamos. <risa> Excelente. Gracias, Ah, thank you.